fun around here uh welcome welcome this is simply king podcast and this is your boy rodney perry king himself and you just tuned into the soulfully conscious podcast for humans simply being human and today is a special 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 relationship hack episode i've done several of these episodes make sure you go back into the archives and check them out check them out check them out um i gotta have it i gotta have y'all on my things y'all gotta be on top of all my things i'm jingling and jangling um i guess that's tis the season to be jingling and jangling though right let me take one of these things out because i'm hearing too much of myself nevertheless i want y'all to get into the spirit now you can I got to say this before I get started. The erasure that happens with Thanksgiving needs to stop. Let's stop. It's a y'all y'all celebrate Thanksgiving. Stop acting like Thanksgiving is y'all treat Thanksgiving like cousin Faith. Like y'all be surprised when she show up. And like y'all already putting up Christmas trees, already trying to ignore her presence. We're in November. Better give some damn thanks. Come on now. I get it. I get it. For all the people who are very, you know, very much into the histories of things, I am not mad at that. I like history myself. I've done several episodes highlighting certain things that have happened throughout American history. I get it. We should not be ju- have this jubilation on a day where so many people that represents the, literally the, 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 the bamboozling of a whole entire um, civilization. I get that. But that ain't us. I'm black. (laughs) It ain't never been about the Mayflower pilgrims or indigenous people. I understand that, but I want y'all to understand the context. I have reverence and respect for all those people who ancestors were affected by such. Always will. I stand with you and stand for you. And definitely not for the erasure of you as a whole, as a person. But this is Turkey Day for us, for black people. We, we every single holiday where we can get together and put on clothes, go to somebody's house, eat food, is something that is for us. Let us have this, please. Let us have this. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We can, have, we can make Christmas into something that's so stereotypical as well, but we don't. We, we, it's Xmas for a lot of people. And they, and that, Christians and so many of the like can get so upset about that. We can get so upset about the fact that, you know, I'm not about to get on my soapbox because this is a relationship hack episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a soulfully conscious podcast for humans simply being humans. I don't even know if I did my tagline because I was dancing too damn hard. I'm Rodney Perry, and this is Simply King. I want y'all to know that I've uh, been enjoying doing this. It's definitely coming to the end of the year. 2021 really got the fuck on up out of there um definitely feels better than 2020 but in ways it just feels like we COVID is still very much around and out it just feels like the difference between last year and this year is that it's more people outside we're acting we're trying to act normal as COVID is still around if that makes sense so I don't know how helpful that is for us um to be quite honest but you know to each his own um what I do want us to kind of get into is this relationship hacks. But first, let us get into the Twitter check in. Let's get into it. Ooh. 
today's Twitter check-in is something that um, I just came up with, honestly. I thought, let's search Christmas gifts, Krima gift on Twitter. See what comes up. And I bookmarked a few of my favorite tweets. Um, let's start with uh, Cash Money Ken or Fine Ass Ken. Um, tweeted in response to Dre Bay's tweet. Rent due the same month. Niggas want Christmas gifts. Last minute <laughs> Christmas shopping, then rent due again six days after Jesus was born. This is not all right. That was tweeted uh, yesterday. Then you have from, I think this Kyla Renee. Kyla Renee, I'm making sure I put the tweets right up in here somewhere so you can see them. No one's getting a Christmas gift from me this year. I'm sorry, I don't got it. Sentiments that can be taken in so many ways because that's certainly out of context. Why can't people get gifts? Is it hard for you? Is it whatever? whatever? I want to make it easy for those who are at least attempting to do so. So, especially those who, where the pressure is on thick, those in relationships. So let us talk. So what we, what I want y'all to do is first, first, before you do anything, assess the level of relationship you are in with a person before you sit here and go out and buy shit. Assess the relationship you have with somebody before you go out and buy shit. One more time. Assess the relationship before you go out and buy shit. Uh, it will honestly determine the level of effort that you should give to the person that you should give for this time of the year. Um, if y'all literally have only been dating for, y'all literally started dating at the top of December, Christmas time coming around. Now you don't know what to do. Do I get some? Do I not? I want to show, you know, some affection. I want to show, you know, a kind gesture, whatever it is. Men, ladies, and non-binaries. I want y'all to know. It's all on you. It's all on you in that scenario. If you, if the, Status of the relationship is one that is, you know, very much just, you know, mm, okay, it is what it is. Mm, we're new. No real true deep expectations yet. Then don't make any. If you don't have any, if you're not expecting any, ask the other person if they're expecting something. If they are, get something. If they don't give you something back, that's okay because you weren't expecting nothing anyway. Really how it can go. Nine times out of ten, that's not how easy it is. It's not going to be that easy. Now, if one person is expecting something, it makes the other feel like, well, now I got to get something for you, even though I didn't want to or wasn't even expecting nothing from you, but you're getting me something. So now we're playing the who cares the most or who cares the least game, um, which you shouldn't do, which is we shouldn't get into these types of, you know, relationship type of games. Now, let's say that you are deep in. Y'all are all the way fully blown into a relationship by this time. And y'all have been put, y'all, let's say y'all put in like, let's say y'all started dating in January of 2021. And here y'all are about to get to a year in y'all relationship. So you, it's definitely expectations. There are definitely something, um, something on the line to prove, to come through with. But this shouldn't be a pressurized situation. I don't want this to be a pressurized situation for anyone. Gift giving should be something that is a kind thoughtful gesture that comes from the heart and shouldn't be wrapped into this sensationalism of like, if I don't do this, if I don't come through very hallmark movie ish, you feel me? If I don't go, if I got to get, got to get the gift, got to do this. Oh, what would, what will it matter? Cause moral of the story is they just want you to be there. They want you to show you that you show that you care. They want you to be present. They want you to show love. Yes. A gift is nice, but at the end of the day, they want you to be good so you can be good to them. May sound too mushy, may sound too cliche. Probably got a bunch of folks who would disagree with me, but it is what it is. That's all I'm saying. So, assess the level of gift based off of the status of your relationship. Step one. Also, to something that I think a lot of people don't do before I get into this gift giving 101. 
I really want y'all to start having the conversations with your partners. Start having the conversation to actually ask them, what is their expectation? What do you want from me? Maybe not asking directly like, hey, what do you want? Which I feel like Christmas is probably one of the best holidays to just ask somebody, hey, what do you want? This element of surprise when it comes to gift giving, I think increases the pressure, increases this. It makes it into a test. It makes it into a game. It makes it into this. How well do you know me? Can you get me the thing that you like? It makes it into this newlywed game, this dating game type of situation that really we don't need. <laughs> I get it in certain instances because it's uh, it brings more, um, I don't know, cuteness and kind and, and, and nice it makes the gesture even nicer if you get it spot on and they and you had no help. Yes. But also, if you're expecting a gift, then you would want the gift to be one that is. Uh, you expect the gift, you would want the gift to be one that you just know came from a true, genuine place, not a huh here type of gift and not a like I'm stressing myself to fuck out. And this ain't even something that you care that much about. Like you just wanted me to be here. Let's not put ourselves in other scenarios, people. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, what I do want y'all to do, let's get into this gift giving 101. Listen to me and listen to me good. You might have to rewind this. You might have to go back to this. It's a short episode. So y'all don't got like you can just send this off to your peoples. Make sure you're getting it right. Make sure you like, rate and subscribe on all the spaces and more than like, rate and subscribe. And make sure you share this. Share this thing. So gift giving 101. Number one, know your partner or SOS. Now, this gift giving 101 is truly one of, especially for people who are expected to give a gift. That's why I got to check the status out the way, because if this ain't if this ain't for you, this ain't for you. But it can be great for you for future references. So come back to this. Know your partner or SOS. What do I mean by SOS? Help rescue. Help me. You might need to lean in on the resources around you. Don't think that. And But keep in mind when you do so, who you're doing it with and who and what they and what they will, <laughs> how they will play in the delivery of this gift. What I mean by that is if you out here going to somebody, mama, asking them, hey, what should I get her? Understand how mamas are. If y'all been together four or five years and you want your mom's, her mom's opinion about a certain thing that you want to get her a daughter and you kind of keeping it hush hush to moms, moms might blow this shit out of proportion and think you about to propose at Christmas. Then you not. So she just happy and excited. She inviting extra people, extra family members over all types of shit because she think that you about to do the most. So be mindful of the relationships of the people that you're asking. I, 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 I'm, I'm, bi I'm biased and also privileged to have, you know what I'm saying, women best friends. So I can always be like, hey, what do you think I should get her? What do you think I should do this? What do you think, you know? So I'm always in a solid place with that. So fellas who don't have that, lean in on your sisters. And if you don't have sisters, lean in on your mom. If your mom isn't present, now we're talking about, oh, my SOS, my help, might be someone related to or knows my girl well. But be selective. Be selective because if you would like for the element of surprise to be an aspect of your gift, then sure. If that does not matter to you, then go crazy. Ask her best fucking friend who more than likely is going to tell. <laughs> who more than likely is going to at least pitch it or give a hint to your girl about what she should be expecting. If that doesn't matter to you? Cool. Um, also know your partner. Will they find this uh, as a real true gesture of yours or will they see it as you didn't try? You don't know. And I, and I understand all perspectives. You just want people to just give you something that they feel like you need. They give you something they feel like you want. See how well they've been paying attention to you. All those different things. And I don't think that that all the way qualifies as a test in all cases if we don't make it one. I think it just is the parameters of like what would make this gift really feel great. Because if the reason why the gift felt great, then the reason why the gift didn't feel good, I think also plays a role. You can't 
give me a gift and be like, why would you give me this? I'm not even this type of person who had this. How well do you know me? Oh my God, you got me this. You know me so well. Those two things go hand in hand. So I don't think because the reasons for a good gift are going to go away when you give a bad gift. It's like, well, you know, you try. Some people may lean into that, but I think deep down, most people are thinking, why? What was the thought process around this? What about me did you think to get this for? Not even saying that's going to be a discussion, but it could be a possible thought. You don't need that. Let me do the thinking for you. I got you. Moving on. The earlier you're playing, the better the gift. It is what it is. Last minute gifts are terrible. Most of the time. Now, if you know your person well enough to know that you can just always go and grab this and grab this simple thing that's usually always available, then cool. Kudos to you. You got your one. You got a one in a million in your house, in your bed. But that's not everybody. I implore everybody to certainly put in at least a month to two months early of time to think about what you would like to give and give. For me, um, in terms of gift giving overall, gift giving to your partner is definitely specified. If your partner is high maintenance, low maintenance, whatever maintenance, you got to keep those things in mind. Also keeping in mind time of shipping and all these different things as well, that everybody's Christmas shopping at this time. Black Friday just passed. We, everybody's moving. Everything's going to come slow. So you got to pull the trigger sooner than later. Sooner than later, you got to pull the trigger on what you need and what you're going to get from whoever you're going to get it from and wherever you're going to get it from. So, yeah, I'm definitely in that in that number of people who still have to buy certain gifts uh, for family and all things. But when it comes to your person, make sure you got that one as early as you can. Please, 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 please think about it and plan early. So that you don't stress and that you more than likely have genuinely put energy and thought into it. And if you want to change, you want to add to it. You want to get more. If she, if she mentions something and it's something that you can really do in the time, it's like, all right, I already got her a gift, but now I'm about to get her this too. I already got him a gift, but all right, I'm about to get him this too. Go crazy on your baby. You feel me? Um, which leads me to there is no limit to imagination. But be within your means. Do not go broke. Do not go broke. Do not go broke for your person. Be smart. Your person knows you. So more than likely, they already know exactly how much you make or how much you think that you They have an idea, have a range for how much money you probably got on you on a consistent basis. Um. Yeah, that's not something to prove. That's not something to try to, you know, sh try to flex. Give giving is not a moment to just flex. Give giving is a moment for you to truly, genuinely give something because you wanted this person to have it. That is it. That is all. Keep it simple. Keep it straight. Um, I feel like we all got to keep it, you know, pretty simple when it comes to that. Let's not overthink all these things when it comes to what we believe we would like to give someone else. You don't need to create resentment around it either because paying too much and being broke and then them not liking the gift, not really wanting this, already having this, already got gifted that by somebody else. All those things are going to fuck up, fuck you up. They're going to mess with your head because it's like, damn, now that I spent all this money, and you already got one. Or you bought one for yourself or your mama bought you one or this, that, and the third. Now you got two and you're probably going to take one of these back. And now I got to figure out another gift. Now I'm in an even worse situation or you're going to whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Like It's like, hmm, what do you do? So you have to be OK with the thing that you give away. It's always like that. When you, when you let somebody borrow some money, when you let when you buying a gift, you got to be OK with what you give away. Period. Um, but let's move on to this portion of when you are meeting the family and around the family, right? The family, for one. If you're meeting your partner's family during the holidays, it could be so it could be so many different things. You could feel like, oh, hey, 
who are these people? What's going on? What do I need to know? What do I need to know? What do I need to do? What don't I need to do? First things first, when it comes to family and meeting a family, you need to be briefed on the family dynamics. Are, is your pops cool? How is your grandma? Is your granddad going to ask me a bunch of questions? How crazy are your uncles? Are your cousins nosy? Is somebody going to ask to use my phone? Any of these things are the things that need to be asked about and briefed on. Your person should know they hopefully know their family well enough to be like, this is what I feel and this is what I don't. You got to move off of their speed because you are a guest. But you're a guest that everybody probably, a lot of people could, could possibly want to have interest in because you're new, you're a stranger to them, but someone they love knows you well. So they got to trust them, but also they trying to figure out who the fuck you are in their house, trying to make sure you're a good guy, a good girl. So keep that in mind. Let Make sure that your partner briefs you on their family for whoever's house that you're going to, even if you're going to both. That means both of y'all need to be briefing each other on family. Um, be kind and conversational, not forceful or aggressive. You are not here to act like you are husband. Now, I think it goes without saying, if you've been in, if you've been a part of somebody's family for so long, you've already developed certain relationships and have already been kind of brought into the dynamic of that family. But I want you to understand something. If you're meeting the family for the first time, you got to find your place. Be kind, be attentive, be conversational, answer questions, ask questions, be in, be in tune, be present, be all in, compliment, be pleasant, be pleasant more than anything. You're a guest, be pleasant. You have manners. You do not have to act like, oh my God, I got to meet like, you got how many cousins? Damn, you got to uh, like, do not approach it that way because they will see it. They will tell them they will tell your partner. And and that may not be the best thing for y'all because you don't know how she feels about the opinions of her family. She may really covet those things. She might or she really might. Um, and so and that's a first impression that they're getting. And it's not even really who you truly are. And hopefully your girl knows and sees that. So regardless, let's be OK. But. I say so that you have a good time and so everyone around you has a good time. Just be kind and be conversational. I think that'll help everybody. Uh, Lastly, be on your girl's side at all times in exchanges, uh, disagreements, and, and exchanges and disagree with her in the car. Why you in front of your girl's family? Go with whatever she says. And this is something that I personally need to do better at the reason why I say this is because nine times out of ten we don't know the, the the dynamics of your partner's family this goes girls and guys obviously but you just don't want to seem like you're not a united front with the person who you are literally going home with because that can affect them people are shunned dismissed so often in their family dynamics that it feels like you're just doing nothing but doing the same thing and it's hard to shape when there is a difference, but it's hard to shake. So be preventative, to be proactive and preventative, you could easily just say, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I feel that. I'm with you, babe. It is what it is. Yup. Mm-hmm. A trip. Any of those things. And then when you get to the car, you let it be known, like, hey, babe, I don't know about that. <laughs> I know I agreed in there, but I don't know about that. I ain't want to disagree in front of your people, but I don't know about that. If it really compels you to say something, if it really is something that you're okay with, then obviously speak your truth. But if if y'all genuinely agree, speak your truth. But the constant disagreeing really creates a real weird optic amongst you and your you and your you and your girl, and it can create some weird ass rips. So, to, from me to you, I implore you to not do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let's not do that shit. Um, so I have, I do have a send it on for this week. My send it on is simple. I'm making a template that I'm going to post every day for this week that I want you all 
You can find it on my story. You can find it on the Simply King Pod story. I will make sure I tag and I'm filtering everything. I'm breaking everything down now. You want mostly Simply King things? Go to Simply King Pod. You want mostly me? Go to Kings underscore memoirs. Want my business stuff? Go to Life is King. That's all I'm saying. But I'll make a template that you can get to through the Simply King at the Simply King Pod page on IG. And the template will live there as well. Um, and all the responses and everything will probably be, you know, somewhere in my highlights or archives. Either way, it's going to be simple. Check it out. Template what you want versus what you're getting. What you want versus what you're getting. Let's get into it. You can add a photo, add pictures to all these different types of things. So it's an easy peasy thing to do. <laughs> so that's the, that, I'm going to post mine, what I want versus what I'm probably going to get. And I'm cool with that. But we're we going to be gracious and be have, make fun, have good fun with it. You feel me? Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? If you're getting lumps of coal, you better make that thing into some diamonds. You feel me? We're going to be happy and going to be blessed and glad we're getting anything. You feel me? But let's have some fun while we do it. Okay? Um, this has been the Simply King Podcast. Uh, but before I let y'all go, let me, let me, let me give y'all another one of my favorites. One of my favorites. One of my favorite songs. Yes. Going out with some 90s Christmas soul. One for your mind. One time. So, if you don't know, you should know. The Simply King Podcast will and always be available on all major streaming platforms make sure you go like rate and subscribe and follow uh and make sure that you share this content help somebody out give them the gift of a hack because sometimes that's all you need that's all you need sometimes nevertheless i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all closing out the year pretty strong as i said last week i am going on hiatus throughout the whole month of january so make sure that you are abreast and not looking for me because I'm gone and I'm building I'm making content so much more content now in terms of my content when it comes to Kings underscore memoirs still happening still gonna be there still gonna be pumping out some things but we're having all the things happen simultaneously you understand um, you can follow me everywhere Kings underscore memoirs Follow my podcast At Simply King Pod And find and follow my business page At Life is King For digital marketing As well as creative production services I appreciate y'all I appreciate y'all I appreciate y'all Thanks for listening Always This has been the Soulfully Conscious Podcast For humans Simply being humans I'm Rodney Perry Also known as King And this has been Simply King Peace Waiting for you